Citing it as a picturesque enclave 60 miles north of Manhattan, a recent Family Circle article has ranked Trumbull as the nation's seventh best town for families. Vin Singh, staff writer for the Connecticut Post, wrote on July 16, 2011. More than a decade later, the quaint 37,000 citizen town, once lauded for its idealistic family setting, has been infected by a plague of robberies, assault charges, stabbings, stolen cars, and gun threats. In particular, Trumbull's Westfield Mall has become a notorious hub for such criminal offenses. Throughout the past 10 months, the Trumbull Police Department and local news outlets have reported an unprecedented spike in the rate of crimes on the Westfield property. Controversies regarding the spree of crimes have caused widespread trepidation across the southwest region of Connecticut. During the latter months of 2022 and the advent of 2023, the Trumbull Mall has become locally synonymous with rampant crime, violence, and danger. According to the Trumbull Police Department, more than 10 arrestable offenses have occurred on the mall's premises since May 2022. Since Namdar Realty purchased the mall at the start of 2023, the frequency of these transgressions has incited safety and security concerns in residents and former shoppers. Such crimes have included stabbings, assaults on officers, and physical altercations leading to firearm recoveries. Six of the 10 criminal offenses on the mall's premises have occurred under Namdar's ownership. Public safety has always been a top priority of my administration, Vicky Tesoro, Trumbull's first selectman, tweeted in response to four separate arrests from January 17th to 18th. I continue to work with Chief Lombardo on all matters related to public safety, as I always have. Trumbull remains a safe community thanks to the work of our police department, she said. As stated, following Namdar Realty Group's acquisition of the Westfield Trumbull Mall, crime has been at an all-time high. For instance, on January 17th of 2023, three teenage girls aged 15, 13, and 14 were arrested for causing multiple fights throughout the Westfield Trumbull Mall. Each of the individuals involved were charged with breach of peace. According to News 12 Connecticut, the 15-year-old spit on a crowd control officer who was subsiding the tension of large crowds of juveniles acting disorderly, loud, and disruptive. On January 18th, Angela Fortuna of NBC Connecticut said a panic-stricken group of teens were spotted dispersing from the mall's lower food court exit. The teens alerted authorities that an individual was threatening shoppers with a hatchet. They said the suspect concealed the weapon underneath his waistband of his shorts. On February 5th, Fox 61 reported that 18-year-old Giovanni Hall was arrested for breach of peace carrying a dangerous weapon and assault in the first degree. Hall stabbed his 16-year-old brother in the Trumbull Mall's parking lot while picking up his siblings. On February 13th, 2023, the Trumbull Police Department released a report saying that two 16-year-old suspects from Bridgeport were arrested and charged with larceny in the first degree, interfering with police and disorderly conduct. March 9th, 2023, the Trumbull Police released a document stating that 28-year-old Hiram Manuel Madero of New Haven was located in a stolen vehicle on the mall's property. When the Trumbull officers apprehended Madero, the convict had two outstanding warrants for his arrest due to previous offenses. On March 17, 2023, the Trumbull's police department said Jonathan Sierra, a 41-year-old Bridgeport resident, was arrested for brandishing a knife in a threatening manner. Citizens are left wondering what the town and the mall will do.